talking about the four reasons why you're not losing weight and I am. And the number one reason is you're not listening to me because you're too busy being a smart aleck. <laughs> What do I stinking know? Yeah. Yeah. The second reason, you're not in a calorie deficit. You need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. A lot of people leave in the comments, I'm in a calorie deficit. I'm eating this many calories a day, but I'm still not losing weight. Guess what? You're probably not eating what you think. You need to go back and check every single thing that you're putting in your mouth. That cream that you're adding to your coffee, that food that you're snacking on when you're making your kids lunch or supper for your family, that all counts. The bite of your friend's pizza that you took at lunchtime, anything that you're putting in your mouth, it counts. You need to be careful. You might actually just not be realizing the calories that you're adding to your day or you might not be realizing the calories that you're adding. You have to count everything. If you're still not sure, track it. Write every single thing down, everything you drink, anything that goes in this thingy, write it down for a day so you can see. You're gonna be able to see exactly where you're adding calories and you didn't even realize it. We get a lot of comments every day saying, Okay, I get the calorie deficit thing, but I've been doing calories in, calories out for a year and I didn't lose anything. We're here to tell you today, give you a little tough love. You're not in a calorie deficit. Because you would be losing weight. This is non-negotiable. If you're in a calorie deficit, you will lose weight. So if what you're eating is in a calorie deficit and you're still not losing weight, it means you need to eat even less. You need to be in more of a deficit. Write down what you're eating, take a look at it, and eat less. Be in more of a deficit, and if then you, you will lose weight. If you don't wanna eat less, you gotta move more then. You gotta get in that calorie deficit one way or the other. And that brings me to the next reason. You're not doing enough cardio. You might not even be doing any but if you're doing cardio and you're eating a deficit and you're still not losing, you need to either eat less like Kyle said or do more cardio. Some of us have to work harder than others. Kyle and I, in order to keep losing weight, we have to do one hour of cardio six times a week in order to lose weight right now. Because we're eating enough to keep muscle as well as get leaner. We don't wanna just drop our calories and do lots of cardio because then all this cute muscle Nicole's building would just melt away. And I'm still eating in a deficit. I'm eating 17 to 1900 calories a day and I'm doing an hour of cardio six times a week. So if you're not doing a lot of cardio, Add more, do more cardio, as much as you can, and that should get you results. And when we see, when we used to go to a thing called the gym, long, long ago, <laughs> I don't know if you're old enough to remember, but there was something called a public gym where people would gather and work out. But when we seen people doing cardio, they weren't doing cardio, they were on their phones. That goes for the weight training as well. You, in your head, most people, not you, the special snowflake that's watching this. Not you, but everyone else that we seen at the gym was not working as hard as me and Nicole. And me and Nicole aren't pro athletes, we're not pro bodybuilders. We go really friggin' intense. This is what we seen at the gym, okay? Imagine those leg machines like, you know, this. So this is a leg machine and this is somebody on their phone. This is what we seen at the gym. No, 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 no. You were actually going, you were going a little bit intense I there. I was, actually. You, let's do a real what we've seen on people on the cell phone. It's a lot slower than that. So oh, just. Hey, Bubba, how you doing? I've just finished my set. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> So a lot of, basically the point is a lot of people think that because they're at a gym or they're in their basement and it's called a workout that they're actually burning a lot of calories. 
you're not. No, you have to be tough on yourself. Really check what you're eating and really check yourself and how much cardio you're doing. Because if you're doing more flapping than walking, you're not cardioing, baby. Your gums might be toned, but nothing else. Nothing else, so get moving. Also, get I'd like to add to the second point about the calorie thing. Just a basic thing, a lot of people are just uneducated on actually how to count calories. Yeah, so that's what the first year of Kyle and I's weight loss journey, we wrote everything down because numbers kind of made us crazy. So seeing it on paper, the exact portions and the exact measurements of what we were eating, it really helped us realize what we were eating. So when we hit a plateau, when we weren't losing weight, we looked at what we were eating and we're like, Oh, that's where we went wrong and added too much. And now I'm an evil conspiracy theorist, but food companies, I'm going to give you a secret. Don't tell anyone though. Food companies lie about what's in the food. Oh gosh. They lie about the calories on the box. What? So if you want to be close, you're not going to be a hundred percent accurate, no. but if you want to be more accurate, you could even weigh the food out. It's a little yeah. closer than reading the label. Yeah, you look at the grams on the back of the nutrition labels and it tells you how many grams are in a serving. You can do it that way. Just know nothing is 100% accurate. No scale, no measuring cup, no calorie count. It's all just a ballpark. But knowing the ballpark and using that to be in a deficit is how you do it. Yes, um, it's way better to portion and be in the ballpark, like Nicole said, than to say, ah, oh, screw it, I'm not measuring anything. Or think you're in a deficit and be, you know, making grandma's lunch for her bowling game the next day and you're eating little pepperonis while you're making her pizza. You gotta count everything. Grandma's yeah. taking pizza to bowling. <laughs> Did I have you like that example? I have never heard that in my life, but I want to go to that bowling game. My, my head's a scary place. <laughs> yeah, we know that, buddy. Okay, the fourth reason. You're choosing the wrong foods. A lot of you go, okay, I'm eating in a calorie deficit. I'm eating healthy stuff. I'm choosing yogurt. I'm eating protein bars. I'm eating, you know, whole grain bread. But what you're not realizing is that even within yogurt, there are better calorie versions than most. You have to check the backs. Some of them are loaded with calories and fat. Choose the lowest calorie, lowest fat version of the foods you want to eat. Protein bars, for example. Kyle and I didn't eat them for a long time because a lot of them, their calories are ridiculous. We found one that we're not sponsored, but it's called Pure Protein. We only buy those because they have the best calories in them. If you look like some are like two or 300 calories with like seven to 10 grams of fat. So you have to check the back. And the other thing that people make a huge mistake on is they're like, okay, I know you said that bread isn't bad, Nicole, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna eat bread. And you go to the store and you choose the honey, oat, whole grain bread. Yeah, you know the packages that like show a farmer on it and they're like earthy tone colors and they look like they're the healthiest thing on the planet? The plain, great value white bread has way less calories, way less fat than those healthy breads. The thing with the healthy whole grain breads, a lot of them contain nuts and seeds, which is gonna make them higher in fat. Also, if you check the labels on the back of white and whole grain bread, typically the white one is gonna have less calories and less fat. Sure, the whole wheat, whole grain has more fiber, it's slower digesting, but specifically looking for the lowest calorie one, the white bread is the best bang for your buck. And realize scientists, food scientists, food police in the comments, please realize we know a difference between weight loss and health. This is not a health channel. This is a weight loss channel. So if you're strictly trying to lose weight, the white bread typically has way less calories than your healthy whole wheat with added pumpkin seeds and flax and all this stuff in it. Exactly. So eat what you like but choose the best version. You can't just go grab pancake mix or bread or protein bars or even fruit for anything for that matter without choosing the lowest calorie one. 
Fruit is not gonna make you fat, but there are some that are lower in calories. We choose the lowest calorie of everything and occasionally we'll give ourselves the higher calorie stuff as a treat. Choose the right foods. That could also be the reason why you're like, well, I'm eating all this stuff in a deficit and then you're not realizing, oh, my bread is loaded with fat, oops. Also, only 7% of you are following us on Instagram. So get there and you'll see us every day in the story. I, I'm doing cardio. You'll get motivation. Get over there oh, and follow us. I just checked our analytics today. You wanna hear this, this is real numbers. I won't give the exact numbers. Close to half of people that watch our videos aren't subscribed. Do you know how many frogs this lady's done? to get you to subscribe, and over half of you that watch this video are not subscribed, please hit the bell, hit the subscribe, hit all the things. If you get anything out of this channel, you like this content, please do the stuff all right and get on the Instagram, what are you doing? And if you want things made really easy, all portioned out, the exact meals, the exact portions and recipes that Kyle and I ate are in our two weight loss guides showing you exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds. The links are down below and watch these two videos. They'll help you lose weight even more. Be honest, tough love dudes. Checking out here, Cola's Collect. Checking out before we're wrecking out. And frogging out. <sighs> And those aren't real jeans, by the way. She's a complete liar. Those are jogging pants. And can I tell you, these are tied as tight as they possibly can be. The string won't get any tighter and they're falling off, guys. And what size are those? This is a medium. I'm gonna have to go to a small. Yeah. We out. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bye through it. <laughs>